we go. Welcome to a brand new episode of Go. I'm your host, Danny Giesbrecht, and we are down here at the River Creek Casino talking about responsible gambling. It's Responsible Gambling Awareness Week. And on the show today, I'm going to bet a little bit of money, but we're also going to talk about myths and facts of the game, identifying a problem and setting a limit and staying within it. My limit. Oh, is the ball going to drop 11 black? Oh wait, yeah baby, all right. Now before I have any more fun on the table here, up first we're gonna meet a local woman whose physical transformation has captured the attention of Edmonton's fitness community. All right, let's balance this out a little bit better. And now in the sneak preview of our next episode of Sherwood Dodge Road to Hope, we take a look at a central Alberta program where soldiers recover from PTSD. Learn the signs of gambling addiction and how to prevent them after the break. Go for 30 lines, 20 lines, 15, 10, 5. Let's play it safe with 10. Not too bad. Welcome back to the show. If you're just tuning in now, we're here at River Creek Casino talking about, whoa, I won something. I got a spinning streak. What did I get? Like 50 cents? All right. We're talking about gambling responsibly. It's Responsible Gambling Awareness Week. So we're talking about how these machines actually work. Do hot and cold machines exist? Is this fact or fiction? As well, how do you set a limit and stay within it? And what does a gambling addiction look like? Stay tuned. All of that information coming up in the show. But first, after learning his aunt had an incurable type of cancer, one local man vowed to make a difference. Here's Shaw TV's Alexa McLean with that story. Let's go again. 15 lines this time. One play. Come on, monkeys. Nothing. What an inspiration. Thank you for that, Alexa. Up next, we want to ask you, what length would you go to to achieve your dreams? Our theme of hard work and dedication continues as we introduce you to an Edmonton athlete who first and foremost learned to sacrifice. Thanks for that, Dave. We are now joined by Danielle Lowe's with the Alberta Gaming and Liquor Commission. And first off, please tell us, how do you define a gambling addiction? What does this look like? I think the place to start would be to define an addiction. An addiction is continuing to do an activity when it causes harm to oneself or others. So when we speak to problem gambling and gambling addiction in that context, it means someone is choosing to gamble in a way that's causing themselves harm or maybe harm for their family. And what does that do to a family? When someone in the family has a gambling addiction, I know stress and worry, those are all part of it, but it goes much deeper than that. Oh, absolutely. It runs really deep. What happens when somebody in a family has a problem with gambling? Naturally, finances could very well be affected. We always like to say that at least 10 people are affected when somebody they know has a problem with gambling. It extends to time spent in the casino. We already mentioned the money. The shame and guilt that goes along with any addiction, these are all ripple effects that a family and friends have to deal with. And a lot of the time, the family can be destroyed because of someone's problem. Absolutely. It can cause deep crevices within families, trust issues. The impact is so deep that this is why our programs exist, to help these families. And that always branches out into the entire community as well. Absolutely. These folks need somewhere to go out in the community. They need nonprofits that they can access. They go to Alberta Health Services. So the programs out there we need to promote. Um, drug addiction, alcohol addiction, these are really well defined in our community and in our society. People know where to go for help with these. We call gambling the hidden addiction. We're really trying to connect problem gam gamblers with resources in the community so they can access all of these. What percentage of Albertans, or do you have any facts about how many people in our community are addicted to gambling? The last study was done in 2000 and the stats we currently use is about 4% of the population has identified themselves as a problem gambler. Of course, you have to let us know that this is an issue for you. So the, the hidden gamblers, the quiet gamblers, we have no stats for those. Gotcha. Um, later in the show, we're going to talk about setting a limit and staying within it and myths and facts about the game. Uh, but before we get to that, talk a little bit about the resources that you offer inside casinos for people who might have questions or think that they need to stop and they need some help doing it. Absolutely. We have a lot of resources in the casinos for patrons who are having questions regarding how games work. What are the odds for table games? What are the odds for slots? We have Responsible Gambling Information Center representatives. We have 21 of them throughout Alberta, from Lethbridge to Port McMurray in the venues. Their centers are located on the gaming floor. All you need to do is approach the representative and they'll be happy to help you with any of these questions. Great stuff. Thanks so much, Danielle. Stay tuned. More after this. Thank you. 
Rivers, welcome back to the show. If you're just tuning in now, we're down here at River Creek Casino talking about Responsible Gambling Awareness Week. I have Danielle Lowe's with me from the Alberta Gaming and Liquor Commission. She's going through the game. We're figuring out how it works. But coming up in the show, we're talking about hot and cold machines. Fact or fiction? Do they exist? If you're on a roll, what does that mean? Is it really up to chance? We're going to find out. Plus, setting a limit and staying within it. So stay tuned for all of that. But speaking of music, like the monkeys here, musicians from all over have been competing for a shot at the World Blues Finals in Memphis, Tennessee, including Edmonton's Graham Guest. Shaw TV's Tim Dancy has this one. What do you think here? $20. I have set my limit. Now I'm going to stay within it. Danielle has walked me through how to operate the game. So we'll feed that into there. And then time to start going here. $20. Let's start with a low bet. There we go. Five lines and play. Come on nothing. All right, and that's how you start losing your money. Coming up next, before we speak to Danielle one more time, we have a new segment on dermatology with Edmonton's Dr. Rao talking about everything from skin cancer to Botox. Here's our first segment. All right, we are back here with Danielle from the Alberta Gaming and Liquor Commission talking about myths and facts of the game. Now, I find this very interesting because I would think if I'm doing really well on a machine that I got to stick with it and continue on because I might hit the big jackpot, but that's not the case at all. No, we actually identify that as one of the biggest myths that happens. People believe machines are hot and machines are cold. Actually, there is no hot and cold slot machine, unfortunately. You can't pick out which one's going to win the big jackpot. Um, our machines are based off a random number generator, so every spin is an independent action, which means if you press the spin button the first time, your odds are exactly the same as hitting the jackpot as they would be 10, 12, 100 spins down the road. And even though I know a lot of people might hear this, they still might not believe it because they think if they're on a roll, they got to keep going. Again, this is why we have our GIC representatives yeah. in every casino. They can open up a slot machine, show you the inside, the microprocessor. Really? There's nothing that lives in these machines. We don't have cameras in them, so we can't set them or control them. They are all regulated the same throughout the province. Gotcha. And finally, that brings me to our last question, setting a limit and staying within it. What are the steps to doing this right? We like to promote people to only bring cash to the casino. If you leave your debit and credit card at home, you're more likely to stay within a set budget. We'd also like you to set a time limit for your entertainment. Just like a movie would run for a certain amount of time, when you're planning your night out for your entertainment, whether it be gambling or something else, think of setting a time and a money budget so that you make sure everything stays within it. Set a limit, stay within it. Danielle, thanks so much for your time. Before we go, here is your on-the-go calendar. And that's the show. For more information about gambling responsibly, head to settleinalberta.ca. I've been your host, Dana Giesbrecht. We'll see you next time. Ten lines and play. Come on, monkeys. Nope, nothing. That's how you lose.